What I'm showing you here is the radio controlled tank I am designing around the Tamiya gearbox and wheels and tracks sets. I'm not focusing here on the details of a physical assembly or physical design of the tank. Rather, I'd like to show you the waveforms out of the radio receiver and to the power drivers for the motors. First of all, you won't probably see the two tracks or tank in action with remote control. Left, right, forward, backwards, forward, backwards for the two independent tracks. This is the tank. Forward, backward, independently. Full speed forward, full speed backward. And you can hear a buzzing noise. And this is due to allow pure width modulation frequency I had to use. As these motors are hard to control with higher uh, ultrasonic frequencies and the motors tend to saturate with uh, higher frequencies, higher ultrasonic frequencies. Uh, this is the electronic side design. I will show you some details on, on, on the site, on the website. The power, the hardware drive, and the microcontroller inside. This is the batteries and radio receiver, and this is the, the, the gearbox and the batteries for the, for the motors. Uh, now, contour waveforms. Um, uh, this is relevant to one motor only. The other one is absolutely the same. There's nothing different here. Anyways, this is the uh, radio receiver output. You see, this is the pulse. This is what is called pulse position modulation. This is absolutely unsuitable to drive directly a motor or a hard width drive. Instead, pulse width modulation must be used to do this. And this is what the microcontroller does. This is the hard width of the microcontroller. You see, 100% almost, 0% almost. Uh, and this is the major feature of the circuit, I would say, as the dynamics is expanded to its maximum and the full forward and full backward speeds can be achieved. Uh, now, full details and schematics and information pictures, whatever, can be found here at www.5volt.eu. I hope to see you there then. Goodbye.